A little while back, I put out a video about some mobile game ads that use some pretty deceptive tactics to give mobile gamers false impressions of what most of the time just ends up being Diablo clones. And thanks to so many of you who commented on the last video, I've collected another slew of trashy, copyright infringy, highly exaggerated advertisements. <laughs> so let's once again delight ourselves with these dastardly denizens of downloadable disappointment with these deceptively dishonest mobile game ads. Ugh, that was a mouthful. Why did I write that? If you haven't seen my last mobile game ads video, I do recommend checking that out. But the idea here is to focus not on live action or CG animated ads that are not really supposed to represent what the game looks like. Instead, the focus is on deceptive mobile game ads that lie about what the game looks like, what genre it may be, or just flat out steal from other properties to entice players to download their game. Most likely the kind of ad you'll see on something like Instagram, Facebook Mobile, or ahem, YouTube. At least according to many comments I got on my last video. First up, we have Guns of Glory, which a few of you recommended. As this ad would have you believe, Guns of Glory is some big first-person shooter where no one moves and it's apparently pretty hard to hit your target. What the game actually is, is just another mobile city builder strategy game, like any other mobile city builder strategy game. I think my favorite part about this is the fact that the end of the ad says, now try the real game. But I think they left out the part that says, and you'll be quite disappointed. And there's also an ad that straight up uses footage from Battlefield 1. I mean, it's really not even the right war that the Guns of Glory setting takes place in, but hey. Up next is another recommendation, Hello Stars. I've seen ads for this game myself, but never gave it another look. But since you guys pointed it out, I figured, why not? The ads for Hello Stars suggest you'll be solving a series of tricky physics-based puzzles, drawing circles into fully drawn cartoonish worlds to hit a target with a water balloon, or to wake up a sleeping man so he can stop the thief in his home. You know, mildly interesting stuff. So what is this game actually? Well, there's a stick man walking down the street, and then he sees, I guess, a Michael Jackson poster for some reason, and then decides he wants to be a music star, so he just kind of starts singing right there in the street, where it becomes a clicker game. Yeah, for real, that actually happens. The puzzles are how you earn coins to upgrade your costumes and musical equipment to get more hearts, I guess, which will then advance you to the next venue. Also, the puzzles are literally all draw a line to make a ball hit a sleeping man in a boring white background. If 95% of players couldn't beat level 5, something must be wrong here because this is level 5. I don't know, seems pretty the same as levels 1 through 4 and the rest thereafter. Next we have Wordlink, which uses a similar art style to Hello Stars in some of its ads, which also kind of makes me wonder, are they... Is it stealing from Hello Stars? Like, have they sunk so low as to rip off other mobile ads? Is that what's happening here? I mean, I wouldn't really be surprised because some of these ads are even more deceptive than the Hello Stars ads when it comes to representing what Wordlink really is. The ads actually look kind of fun. I found this one on my own when I came across an ad on Instagram that made me think, all right, I could give this a try. Although I think the fact that the ad I saw said, I dare you can't find the sixth word is probably what made me even more curious. There's find the hidden words mode, word association, and even using pieces of two images to create another image. Image. Then I downloaded the game, and it's one of these, just literally linking letters together to make words. I've already played a handful of these games that look and play almost identical to this one. Now to their credit, there are actually bonus levels that do feature one of these gameplay modes, but they only appear every 20 levels or so, and from what I've played, it's just basically the same handful of puzzles over and over again, so yeah. Next is Fantasy Blade. While this ad shows a pretty accurate representation of the game, I was disappointed to learn that it does not, in fact, turn you into Goku. Yep. Zero out of ten, worst game ever. Now, Lords Mobile has some doozies. In fact, if you search for Lords Mobile on YouTube, you're gonna find a ton of videos about the ads because they're just so awful. Now to be fair, some of the ads do show the game and how it actually looks. Except, why does this guy look like he's playing on a PC? This is a mobile game, it's even in the title. Again, some of the ads show what the game looks like. Others can't decide if it looks like this, this, or this. Yes, yes, got it, I didn't even get hurt. I got it! 
And then there's one ad that's like, well, screw it, I guess this is a fighting game now. And I have so many questions. All of them are why. Why does this girl say that the guy looks tough when he isn't even on screen yet? The guy does look pretty tough, so no problem watch out. for me. If they're actually supposed to be playing, why is there a hand showing touch inputs? Why are there still touch inputs happening when this girl grabs the phone from that girl? Why isn't their character moving but there are still touch inputs happening on screen? And why am I making this video? So Lords Mobile is actually a simple, um, strategy game where you send out soldiers and heroes to destroy a single enemy structure or hero. Except you don't really do anything. Seriously, this is real-time in-engine gameplay that I recorded as I was playing, but it may as well have been a cutscene because I didn't have to do anything. There was nothing even to do because touching the screen had no effect. It's like if you took Clash Royale but removed any fun or strategy or gameplay. There is a sort of heroes versus heroes mode that you unlock after playing through the tutorial for a bit, which does let you occasionally select an ability, but that's still just about it. These ads all mention selecting the right formation to win, but unless that's something that comes later, I didn't see anything like that, and I do not have the time or patience to spend on this game any longer. Before we get into the last game, why are there so many sexualized ads for these games? I mean, okay, I get why, but why though? Does this ad for Brutal Age do anything for you? Are you suddenly like, wow, I have to download this game now because this rejected character from DreamWorks The Cruise is seductively dancing? Do you enjoy seeing this small, muscly gentleman having his clothes stripped away as he spins around with his feet clipping through the floor? I think the worst offender of them all is one I mentioned last time around, and they're still at it now, with some pretty awful ads that far from represent the real game. Boys and girls, I once again give to you... Goddess Primal Chaos. If you remember my segment on Goddess Primal Chaos in the last mobile game ads video, you know you're in for a treat when it comes to this game. Yeah, as usual there are some pretty cringy ads here with over-sexualized character models thrown onto a pre-rendered CG animation demo. Is this what a degree at full sale gets you? We just finished level 3 and need to tighten up the graphics a little bit. Great. Here we can see a half-naked man repeatedly sneaking up on, attacking, and stealing from a half-naked woman. Isn't crime hilarious? At least you can apparently use a transforming motorcycle now, complete with stolen transformer sound effects. <laughs> Speaking of stolen assets, get ready because this final clip is probably the worst one of them all. Ah! Coram Game, the developer of Goddess Primal Chaos, has a YouTube channel that hosts a bunch of these ads, including this video, D30 Strongman. I mean, this is... This is just God of War, man. You can't just steal that. I mean, I even said so in the comment I left on this video, which also happens to be the only comment that the video has. Truly, these shameless mobile game marketers haven't gotten any less shameless, which is fine with me because I think this topic is pretty fascinating and I'd love to do another one of these someday. Huh? Thanks again for your help with some of these recommendations, and if you have any more I haven't featured in this or the previous mobile game ads video, I will totally check them out and see if I can fit it into another one of these. For now, be careful what you download on your phones, kids. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones, phone, right?